If you find yourself hobbling around because of knee or hip or back pain, are there herbs and natural remedies that can actually help, that actually have some evidence behind them? For so many people that have come to see me and see practitioners of traditional Chinese medicine, the main reason they go to see someone like that is because of physical pain. Now, while my practice is mostly internal medicine based, for so many people, the first time they try acupuncture is because of back or neck pain. There's lots of interesting research about how acupuncture is used for physical pain, but what about the combination or even just using herbs? In this video, we'll talk about some of the most commonly used herbs for physical pain and a little bit more about osteoarthritis in general. Hey guys, it's Dr. Alex Hine, board licensed doctor of acupuncture and traditional Chinese medicine and author of the health book, Master of the Day. So let's jump in. You know, when we talk about physical pain from a traditional Chinese medicine point of view, a quote is often repeated, which is that when there is the free flow of qi, there's no pain. And when there are blockages in this flow, there's pain. Now that's very high level and qi doesn't necessarily translate to energy anyway. For example, you can have a repetitive stress injury where you develop tendonitis in your arm, golfer's elbow, tennis elbow, because let's say you're a waiter in a restaurant and you're just doing this all day long. Well, that is a kind of repetitive stress where you're only using your body in a very limited way and it's the same motion over and over and over. You know, a lot like a tennis player doing this for hours and hours and hours. So that repetitive use can cause stress and resulting in this localized inflammation or even damage. Now for lots of people that are older who have osteoarthritis, one of the reasons of probably dozens is just general wear and tear. And ancient doctors in China called this deficiency taxation or shu lao. And what that means is deficiency basically from taxation. So if you think about like a physical laborer, like you think about a construction worker who's outside in New England, upstate New York, they're doing physical work and physical labor all year round outside. So that repetitive use and that repetitive stress can cause a more rapid degeneration of the cartilage, leading to a lot of that pain. So ancient doctors called this deficiency taxation, like you're working yourself, you're toiling, 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 digging ditches, and now you're basically debilitated from that. But what do we actually do to treat that? And what actually works, like based on the science? Now, by the way, guys, one of the biggest problems I see when I see people one-on-one -on -one is that their nervous system is dysregulated. And that is almost the precursor to so many other health issues overall. So many people get indigestion and acid reflux because they are constantly in fight or flight. So many people have anxiety or a high heart rate or heart palpitations or insomnia, anxiety, depression because of a chronically dysregulated nervous system and their adrenals. I'm doing a one-time live workshop in a few weeks and it's all about the five daily traditional Chinese medicine practices to functionally reset your nervous system and your adrenals. Guys, come live. I do four of them per year. We'll do a live Q and A at the end. It's gonna be fun. Just sit there with a glass of wine or if you're under 21, just get a seltzer, come hang out, watch the one hour live workshop come join me for this five daily practices from TCM that can help you functionally reset your adrenals and nervous system. The link right below this video is how you sign up and register. So herb number one from traditional Chinese medicine is called Jianghuang, which is turmeric. Check out this study I found on turmeric, which I thought was incredibly interesting. It's called the efficacy and safety of turmeric extracts for the treatment of knee osteoarthritis. They basically came up with a cluster of 16 randomly controlled trials over 16 weeks, and there were 1,810 adults with knee osteoarthritis included. Now, what they found was that the turmeric extracts significantly reduced knee pain and improved physical function compared to the placebo. But here's where it gets good. It was as effective as an NSAID. Compared to placebo, it was much better, but it had similar effects compared to NSAIDs, the over-the-counter medications or prescribed medications people were taking for pain relief. This is turmeric, a plant. That's pretty incredible, guys. Herb number two is called Ruxiang or frankincense. You know, like when you're a little kid and you're hearing about like the three wise men, they bring like gold, frankincense, and myrrh, I think. I went to Catholic school, but I should know that. In any case, frankincense is an herb very commonly put in formulas dealing with physical trauma and pain. So for example, lots of the famous formulas, if you saw my other video on the secret formulas from the Shaolin Temple, the external liniments that they use, the alcohol-based liniments, a lot of them have Ruxiang in there because it has a very potent analgesic effect. So 
In terms of studies, this was actually used to alleviate joint pain and inflammation. And there are clinical studies showing that the acids in here inhibit pro-inflammatory enzymes, and they can actually improve joint mobility in patients with osteoarthritis. The third herb from traditional Chinese medicine that can help is called dujong. Now, if you saw my video on testosterone, dujong, again, works on what we call the kidney yang. A lot of the herbs that treat what we call the kidneys also will treat the bones because in ancient medicine, they said that the kidneys govern the bones. But this particular herb, very, very effective, not only for libido, increasing testosterone, very, very good for overall more oomph in life. The research on osteoarthritis and physical pain is interesting. So what researchers found was that some studies showed that the anti-inflammatory properties can actually help with the joint pain itself. So a lot of the time we say these kidney yang herbs strengthen the bones, but in this case, from a biomedical point of view, it really reduces inflammation. Now, don't forget you guys, I've also put together a free root cause quiz. It's like literally 15 pages long, it's totally free. And one of the first links right below this video. And what it's all about is, I have like these three or four symptoms, but where are they coming from? Take the quiz, we'll actually show you what organ network according to traditional Chinese medicine it's coming from. And then even more, we'll actually hyperlink you to like our five best videos on those topics. So check it out, download it. It's gonna be really, really helpful for you. It's very specific for what to do. If you wanna join me live for this Q&A on the five steps for an adrenal reset, please join me. I would love to see you there. And then before you go, I have a related video on this exact topic right up here.